Today, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm gonna unplug my internet and see what still functions in my home automation and in my home entertainment systems. So let's go see what happens. So I'm gonna watch this in a few different ways. I've got a Home Assistant dashboard uh, and I've got a network monitoring tool that are both running right now. And here's my dashboard. And you can see all the different entities that I have up and running. I also have this network monitor that I'm running. It's called Checkmark. And it's a free open source, well, mostly free network monitoring system. It also has um, an area where it shows me the problems. So I'll be able to see any problems that come up. So what I wanna do is I actually have a switch uh, and that switch is connected to my AT&T ISP router. So when I turn that switch off, I'm effectively cutting off the internet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this button right here and we're gonna kinda watch the dashboard and we're gonna watch uh, the checkmark site as well and see what things start to happen. Now, I've never tried this before, so I'm doing it live on a recorded video. So you'll see it with me when you see what happens. So here we go. We're going to turn off the internet and we're going to see what happens. So there goes the internet that should have turned off my AT&T modem. And we'll kind of watch this. I don't suspect that a lot of my internal network stuff will break. Uh, this is all basically internal networking and all of it's on local IP addresses. So I don't know that anything will quit working. If it does, that's going to be a surprise to me. Looking at my Home Assistant dashboard, uh, if we go through some of these settings here, you'll see, for example, the alarm system uh, is locally controlled, so that should be okay. All of this stuff here is on Z-Wave, that should be okay. Uh, more Z-Wave stuff here, and a lot of this, again, I don't suspect will be a problem. I basically built my Home Assistant or my home automation setup to be as locally controlled as possible. Things that I will have issues with most likely are going to be uh, things like my Nest integration. That's going to stop working. Maybe my Roku stuff. This is my entertainment stuff here. Uh, my water monitoring, which is a cloud-based service through Flume. And I don't know. We'll see. Some of my weather stuff will go away as well. The thing about it is I may not know a lot of these things actually stop working, until it's been a little bit of time being offline. I also used a service called uh, Uptime Robot. And the only thing I do with Uptime Robot is I monitor my external connection to make sure that is still up and running. So if all of my stuff is running inside my home network and my home automation and I lose connection to the internet, I may actually not know about it. So I use Uptime Robot to, Uptime Robot to kind of keep me apprised of that. So let's go over here and let's check our local network topology. And I do see an alert here. Uh, it's not on my network list here, but it is something that's going on. And I forgot the light. Let me turn that light on too. All right, let me look at our problem dashboard. And we're getting a critical interface. And that makes sense. This is actually on my router. And my critical interface is now telling me that my ETH zero is down. My ETH0 is what feeds the AT&T modem. And so essentially it's saying that is no longer up and running, which makes sense. So for all of the items that I currently have in my network, uh, I'm only seeing one issue. Now this warning is because I'm running a 100 megabit port on a what used to be gigabit port. Uh, the device plugged in here changed, and this has been this way for a while. So this isn't an issue. I do see here now that I'm seeing issues with my mail. I did get an alert from Uptime Robot. See, now I'm seeing failed, okay, uh, failed notifications. And here's the reason why. When you start unplugging things, you don't really know what's gonna break until you try it out. I run my mail server locally on my Synology NAS. And now that I've turned off the internet, I am getting no notifications. And this particular notification stuff that goes through my uh, my check mark actually goes through my Synology NAS and has to be sent outbound. My notifications are not going out. Uh, I did get a couple of notifications on my phone through my monitoring system. So let's see uh, what showed up there. I think those are messages. 
So I'm getting uptime alerts, uh, monitoring a couple of my services. That's obviously going to be a problem. So I'm getting some alerts on my phone as well. So, so far I've lost my mail and I'm starting to see a few more things come in here. My mail spooler is having an issue now. So I see a mail spooler issue and then I see this right here. So I've got two items that are not working. My mail spooler obviously isn't going to work because of the issue I just talked about. And then my port is down. So I've got that stuff going on right now. In terms of Home Assistant, uh, let me just turn on a light or two. Uh, let's click on this one. I can hear that click in the background. So I know that's still working. So all my Z-Wave stuff is still working. My outside temperatures are all from my local weather station in the backyard. So that still works. Now I've seen these drop to unavailable. Unavailable, these are my flume water sensors. So my flume sensor has now become unavailable because that relies on a cloud service. So I won't get any updates for my water usage. My Synology NAS stuff here on my drives, it's all normal. Uh, unavailable, that's just because of an issue with uh, remodeling. We unplugged one of the sensors for that. But everything else is still working. Now, I don't know if I would be able to set my alarm system right now be through this because my alarm system uses a uh, service through uh, Izon Corporation and it's got a little eyes on board. I could try it uh, and see if it works. So let's do that. We'll just set the alarm for a moment. And I actually hear it and you can see it going here. Even though I'm connected to that remote monitoring system through that board, I have local control to my alarm system. I'm using a DSC alarm panel. So that works fine. I can cancel that now and it'll go back to normal. So, so far everything looks to be working for the most part. I'm um, getting more alerts on my phone from uptime alerts. Now, my uptime alerts also send me text messages through uptime robot. So I'm getting those directly to my phone. That's the nice thing about having an external service in addition to monitoring internally. My check mark runs internally. I have it hosted on a VM here in the house. So it will monitor locally. And then my uh, check or my uptime robot will tell me through text message if it can't reach any of the hosts inside of my network that I'm monitoring, which it can't because I've unplugged it. So let's check our media services and see if I'm able to watch anything. I have a Plex server running in my local network. And you would think that if I can connect from my Roku, which is local, to my Plex media server, which is also local, even if I can't stream things out on the internet, I should be able to watch my local media stuff. So let's go see if my Plex media server works or my Roku's in general. Now, surprisingly, the Roku's did better than I thought. In the past, when we've had internet outages, the Roku's just stopped functioning. They have to talk back to their home base or they just don't work at all. At least this time it asked, and when I was viewing Plex anyway, whether I not whether I wanted to proceed, whether, even if I didn't have an internet connection, which actually was the case, and it worked fine. Now, what's interesting about Plex is even though my live TV comes off of my antenna on the roof and it's piped to an HD home run, which is in the closet, which then goes to my Plex media server, the live TV channels did not work. I don't know if that's because the HD home run is broke uh, is affected by an internet outage or if that just means that there's some sort of reporting going back from the HD home run or from Plex for that matter to be able to do live TV. One assumption I'll make is that Plex has to have a Plex Pass subscription in order for live TV and DVR to work. And maybe because it couldn't contact its home base it couldn't verify my account and therefore I could not watch any live TV on my Plex. That's fine. I've got stuff recorded I could watch. If we had an extended outage, I could watch something else if I wanted some entertainment like that. Obviously, the streaming services, none of those work because we have no internet. One other thing I forgot to mention about this is that my smart speakers didn't work. When I went down to record and test the Roku stuff, I tried to turn on a light using the smart speaker and as soon as I said its name, it complains that I've got no connection. Please check all your stuff, blah, blah, blah. So smart speakers are out. I also have a VOIP phone system that is not working either. So let's do another quick check and see if anything has changed here uh, in terms of availability. And I don't suspect it will, uh, except for the weather. Weather's now no longer available. It's trying to check the weather from my National Weather Service add-on or integration, that's not working and everything else here is still the same. 
This doesn't report that it's unavailable, but it's definitely unavailable right now. And if we took a look over here, do we have any more? Yes, we do. These are surprising, actually. I have lost my cameras and my access point in the garage. Now, all of this is tied together, so let's look at the network map. Well, the network map does not show that it is unavailable. All of that is right here. However, looking at the problem dashboard, all of these are unavailable. Let's just see what the actual problem is. SNMP error, query timed out after four tries, uh, no unmonitored services found, okay. Nine vanished services. So all of these services on SNMP have failed. This is something that I find very interesting. And I'm gonna to have to dig in to figure out what this is because this should not fail. My local cameras should work just fine. So for some reason, the SNMP service is no longer working on these cameras. Let me just see if that's what's the problem with this other stuff. So my front porch camera, this one has a return time ping issue. So it's not even SNMP. So that's very interesting. So I've got something going on within my network, even though everything is up, I'm seeing a high return or latency problems on some of these devices. And I'm not really sure why that is. I'm gonna have to dig into that. I find that very interesting because I don't know why my cameras would stop working. Of all the things, that is fully locally based and it shouldn't be an issue at all. Anyway, something's going on weird there and I, I'm not sure exactly what the problem is, but we I, I'll need to look and see what's going on uh, with the cameras and whatnot. And if you ever wanna play with Checkmark, it's kind of a cool thing. It's a little bit daunting to set up, but it is a neat monitoring tool and do a lot of neat stuff. Uh, I monitor a lot of services and everything for you. Let me run down what's not working right now. We don't have any connections to our um, our Flume monitoring, which is a cloud-based service. No Nest integration is working. The smart speakers have stopped working. Uh, phone has stopped working. All the streaming services are not working. Plex Live TV uh, with my local off-air stuff is not working, even though I can watch Plex and other things directly from my uh, storage. For the most part, my home automation stuff works and I can do everything I need to do short of just entertainment and convenience. The smart speakers are convenient. There are some announcements that come in on the smart speakers, but I also get those through other means on my Home Assistant app. Speaking of the app, let's look at the app and see how that's functioning. Um, <laughs> I typically will show or mirror the app using a little, um, program that I run. And apparently the program doesn't work when the internet's down, which makes me think that, that program has to talk home to its whatever, its servers too. So uh, there you go. I mean, the screen mirroring tool, I don't know what this means, but the screen mirroring tool that I use isn't working. And I wonder if that's completely related to, to the internet outage. That would be pretty sad. So anyway, I'm going to close that and not worry about that right now because something's wrong with it. So on the app, we can see that things are happening on the app. So there's my new dashboard. Uh, because I have my local network uh, set or my local um, URL set for this app, this is the Home Assistant Companion app. It will go to the local setup or local URL. So it's not trying to make connections. Now, obviously this won't work outside of my network, but it will work here. So. Um, yeah, everything looks to be working just fine. All my apps and everything are running. If I turn on a light, uh, let me find a light. Yep, that works. Let me turn on a bunch of lights. There we go. Groups of lights work. Um, groups of lights turn on there. And everything's fine. So I think that the app works just fine, even with the internet not working. So I think that is great for reliability on the app. All right. So this was just a fun little video. I just wanted to see what worked and what didn't. And I was surprised again by the Roku's. I wasn't surprised by all my stuff and my local network working. So for the most part, I can control everything from my house, even if the internet is down, if I'm in my house. Obviously, you're not going to get the things if the internet is down between wherever you are remotely and your house. But for the most part, it works. So I'm pleased. Um, 
maybe every once in a while run this test for yourself and see if your home automation, your smart home will function once the internet is turned off. Pull your plug, see if it starts working or stops working or whatever. If it does, and some of you may know this, right? If you're on a 100% cloud-based service and you pull the internet, unless the equipment or devices revert back to local only control, you're not gonna have any access to anything and nothing's gonna work. So keep that in mind when you're designing your home automation setup, what products you use, what connections you make, and what's important to you that must still function even if you have no internet. Thank you for watching. Thanks if you're a channel member, I appreciate that. That really helps support the channel. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and let me know if you have any comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.